No, this video is not about the 48 game win streak I went on yesterday. If you weren't in my live stream yesterday, basically I went on a really high streak, but it was ended by the best booter slash delayer in the game. Lightning. No, like seriously, a lightning or thunderstorm started up in the middle of my 48 game streak and completely fried my router. One like equals one respect for no life grinding. What's up Simply Squad? It's your boy No Life Gr- Actually, no it's not. No Life Grindin died in the thunderstorm of 2019, okay? He's no longer with us. RIP No Life Grindin in the comments. Let me try that again. What's up Simply Squad? It's your boy, dude who plays this game way more often than he should. And like I said earlier, we're not covering the 48 game win streak I won on yesterday. We are covering a way funnier win streak I went on a couple days ago. Let me ask y'all something. Have you ever had live reporters reporting on every single one of your your games during your win streak on 2k y'all probably a little confused let me show you what i'm talking about as you can see i am here on the court yes you heard it right on the court with the one and only simply grinding he is going nuts right now currently at a whopping 34 game win streak it hasn't switched yet but it'll switch 34 the big 34 what a night stay tuned and as always Stay grinding. Y'all see what I'm saying now? If there's one video of mine you're gonna watch to the end, make it this one, all right? So let's get into this. Oh yeah, real quick, don't forget to put grinding DF pull up on me on your Twitch stream titles. I'm gonna start pulling up on people tomorrow. Now you'd think that if I'm trying to go on a 100 game win streak during that streak, I would be destroying everybody, right? Well, you're 100% wrong. Well, actually like 99% wrong. Here, let me show you what I mean. This game, for example, we start off strong by Dot and Alex in the corner. He greens the first three. Next possession, I come down the court, hit him with a crossover behind the back, back up, shoot my first green of the game. Score is tied up, I come down, hit him with the hezzy behind the back, sham god between the legs, back up and get another green. Wait, hold up, bro. I'm destroying the other team how are they still close i don't get oh that's the shots we're hitting so uh mike wing this the skill gap you were talking about you know what let me not rag on the game just yet he shot a lucky shot it happens okay next possession i come down get an easy green once again and here we go on defense we're finally clamping them this is our stuff uh are y'all seeing this? So let me get this straight. I have to green every single one of my shots for it to go in, but this dude in the blue jacket can just chuck up anything and still make it? Skill gap grinding, he's just better than you. Okay, makes sense. Because that dude in the blue leather jacket is just completely outplaying me, he puts the pressure on me to make the last shot, and of course I come through. Come on now, y'all thought I was gonna sell my streak? I'm not gonna lie, after seeing that second shot go in, I thought 2K was gonna sell my streak. But hey, we came out with the win, but I needed to hit this dude up and see how he was making those shots. Uh, steady shooter hall of fame uh oh, catch and that's shoot wild. yeah what the f nba 2k20 chuck up some nut shit and then just name your badges ladies and gentlemen we're going to instant replay we had some some bad news coming from the streak as you can see right here simply grinding already wearing the eye patch gets poked in the other eye the streak is in jeopardy ladies and gentlemen we will keep you updated now you'd think after a game like that they would give me an easy one to relax but of course not i'm playing against bigger stephen curry and i'm not gonna lie he's got me clamped but i go to the corner and i fade a corner three in his eye and it says wide open i'm not complaining now every time i shoot a fade in a video i get a million comments like yo how are you still green in fades i shoot full whites on mine this is the best way i can put it if you fade a three you're basically taking a 50-50 chance. Yeah, you can green it and you can look like a god, or you could white it and you could look stupid for taking that shot. But I will say this, if you fade a midi, I'm pretty sure you can green it 100% of the time. That also goes for corner threes. The reason I say that is because every time you shoot a corner three fade, difficult shots still pops up. I don't know, y'all. I haven't been shooting many fades lately. I'm not a meta guard anymore. I like the standing jump shot way better, but some of y'all test that out and then let me know. Back to the game. Bigger Steph Curry didn't like the fact that I greened that in his face. He comes back, greens and midi. Next possession, we get a two, but they answer back by dotting their shooter in the corner. They get a green from three, tying the game. They follow that up with an easy lay, but now we're down two on my 30 plus streak. But that ain't no problem. I give the ball to Alex. I run to the right, catch and shoot green to take the lead. But they answer back again by paint mashing until they get an easy two. Now remember, y'all, I'm playing this game injured. I'm legally blind in 49 states. It would have been 50, but Texas don't rock with me like that anymore anymore because I keep flaming my Houston Rockets. Anyways, injured Stephen Curry comes down the court and dots my center and they make him miss a dunk. Really 2K? It's like that? I tried y'all. I tried. But this is where the streak ends. He comes off the screen, wide open, left wing, 
And he breaks high, he trash! After that, Andrew Steph Curry don't care anymore. He ripped off the high patch, threw a lob, and Uzi dunks it to give us the one point lead. Now the game's on the line and the ball's in my hand again. I tell Alex to cross because I want to see if I can get a little cheesy three off. It doesn't work. They're clamping it. Alex tries to get himself open. They're left right in it. They're not having it. So they give it to Uzi. Uzi gives it to me. The shot clock is winding down. I hit him with the behind the back fade to the corner and I green it for game. Come on, bro. Y'all got to give me some props for that one that that was cold blooded look at this shot clock that is as close to a buzzer beater as you're gonna get in park and do you want to know how 2k repays me for making that shot and keeping my streak alive by freezing my court as you can see we're having unordinary delays as simply grinding faces off against dan the man op more updates soon to come ladies and gentlemen we have a potentially tragic scene going on here as grinding and alex and uzi are still waiting for their game to start this could be crucial they're on a 30 game win streak and we've been waiting for about five minutes now no sign on when the game is going to start i'll keep you guys updated after 10 minutes of just standing there we finally get in the game and me and alex were like you know what we're gonna go off bro i'm tired of this i'll tell y'all what man if we shoot one white this game just one i'll give everybody who drops a like on this video five thousand dollars so far we're two for two from green i hit alex again that's three for three i come down the court wide open for fast break that's five for five all greens Next possession, hit him with the behind the back, back up to half court and get another green. And to end it all, give it to Alex on the wing for the final three of the game. Don't you love making bets when you already know the outcome? As you can see, the streak is still alive as Simply Grinding faces off against Hold My Green, the one and only with the white hoodie. As you can see, we're having technical get difficulties as my players dancing over molten hot lava on this 30 game win streak. So, so hot. I will keep you guys updated. Now, unfortunately, every good streak comes to an end. And this one's a close one. It's six to five. I dot Alex in the corner. He gets a green. They come down and force up a super contested layup. And it happens to go in. Game's all tied up. I come up the court. I hit him with a step back. Fake him out like I'm shooting a three. Do a dribble pull up for the midi. Then Alex shows y'all why he's my go-to teammate. Just look at this, bro. He gets the steal, takes his time, backs up to half court, and greens the clutch three. Then I show why I'm the worst defender on the planet. Look at this man i just leave my guy wide open thinking he won't shoot and he makes me pay for it now you know i gotta make up for that uzi inbounds me the ball i run to the right wing back up and i get a green to answer back now at 13 to 16 i'm not gonna lie i go off here just look how i lose this dude he's all the way on the right corner when i'm already at the left wing green in the three over both of them then to end the game i hit him with one of my favorite combos the speed boost has he crossover behind the back back up and get another green from d now i'm not gonna lie to y'all after this that pretty much every single game was a blowout so i'm gonna let these clips play while i talk about the current state of the game and then i'll tell y'all how this streak ended all right y'all now remember this is my personal opinion about nba 2k20 first of all the game right now is broken i think i need to talk about this first because nobody on youtube is talking about this for some reason anytime you pull out your phone for more than three seconds or you try to join a squad you get dashboarded or blue screen and that's if you're lucky enough to get on the right player sometimes when you join a park 2k will pick a random player for you like you chose random fighter on super mario smash bros or something like bro if i want to play as kirby then let me play as kirby don't put me on captain falcon even though captain falcon is a goat oh yeah you would want to play as kirby wouldn't you swallowing dudes whole and shit i don't even know if i could say pause after that one that that was the furthest i've ever taken a joke like that all right i understand if you have to unsubscribe but anyways i seen on twitter ld said that they fixed it and it will come in the next patch now when that next patch is coming we don't know they won't tell us anything so i guess we'll just have to wait and see now the the gameplay the main issue for me right now is paint defense is still terrible it is still rng completely dudes will miss a wide open layup and then come down and make a hundred percent smothered next possession it makes no sense and i don't want to hear book grinding i have giant slayer hall of fame and i got dunk on you hall of fame and i got shit on you hall of fame i don't care what badges you are bro if we get to a point where we can justify all the stupid stuff that happens in 2k by just naming random badges and this skill gap is just thrown out the window now shooting shooting is the most controversial thing on this game right now now for me it's pretty fine but that's coming from a no life who spent hours trying to perfect his jump shot from someone who don't got time like that you know you got a life you got a job you got wife kids whatever you don't got time to be perfecting your game like that because you just get on to have fun which is why i get why they let more whites go in for the casual players do i like it no because i spent so much time perfecting my jump shot and they can just make every white but do i understand it yes can i deal with it yes it's not that big of a deal until they make a 
white for game with a slasher with like a 32 rating but that's another rant for another day basically 2k20 is heading in the right direction gameplay wise but i don't know what y'all messed up in the patch because the game is pretty much unplayable right now and because of that parks are dying so i hope they come out with that new patch quick now with all that out the way let me talk about how i lost basically i lost to a slasher who played me four or five times and then the fifth time he just started making all these contested layups when i lost my streak was 37 which is my third highest streak this year i did a 48 streak live on stream i did a 42 streak live on stream and tonight i'm going for a 57 streak live on stream i'm gonna start off on twitch if you're not following my twitch link in the description i'm gonna start off on there if we get to around 30 i'll start streaming on youtube and y'all can just hype me up the whole time man we'll get lit but here is a post game interview of after i lost to the slasher who kept making contested layups ladies and gentlemen emotions emotions are high right now as the streak is just ended Anti Uzi, do you do you have a moment? Do you have a moment for an interview? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Anti Uzi just moments after losing on a 37 game win streak. Uzi, I just have one question for you. What went wrong there in those games? Oh, we were trolling. We didn't give a fuck. It's 2 a.m. and we're all tired. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A wild game game Friday. Friday. I see you have a growing fan base. How did you manage to let Uzi's ego affect your guys' gameplay? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty tough. It was pretty. Tough. He, he was talking about having more IQ than everybody else we played. All right. Try to try to keep him calm. You. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The streak was ruined by anti Uzi's toxicity. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow with more reports. And there you have it, y'all. My funniest streak of 2K20. Not my highest streak, not my best streak, but the funniest one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, drop a sub with notifications on. I love you all. Thank you for watching to the end. And as always, keep grinding. Can't get you out of my mind, no Said I think about you all of the time, yeah Been imagining you